Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a third grade art test. So yeah, let's just get right into the quiz. Click on the shape below that isn't a geometric shape. Um, uh, what? <laughs> what? Wait, um, a heart? Oh, I don't know. What? That's hard. Okay, I don't know. Hold on a second. What do all these have in common? I mean, I think most of them are symmetrical. So the odd one out is the spiky one. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I honestly don't know. Hold on a second. A geometric shape. Yeah, I feel like geometric shapes are all symmetrical, right? I don't know. It's been way too long since I've been to primary school, okay? <laughs> it's been too long. Um, you know what? I'll just choose a spiky one. <laughs> I'm gonna feel so dumb if I get this wrong. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, I got it correct! Oh, I got it correct. I actually got it correct. It says organic shapes are asymmetrical in appearance. Oh, yeah. I thought so. I thought so. Thank gosh I got that correct. It was the first question as well. If I got that wrong, I would feel so dumb and I'll be so disappointed in myself. Click on the still life. Oh, what is that supposed to mean? Still life? So like a picture, but something that's living in the picture? So this man? Or the trees? I'm gonna go for the man. I might go for the man. I don't know, why is this so hard? I've never ever heard of still life before. Like, what's that supposed to mean? Or am I just dumb? I feel like I'm just dumb. <laughs> yeah, I'm just dumb. It might be the man, the still life. I mean, he was once alive and he was once living. So I guess it's like a life, <laughs> a life, but it's still because it's a photo. So is that why it's a still life? I honestly don't know, let's see. I got it wrong, wait. A still life is a painting that consists mostly of inanimate objects. So this one is a still life, right? So just objects that aren't living. Oh, I see. So the man was living, the trees are living. I see. Wow, wow. <laughs> Seriously, wow, I feel so dumb. This is honestly so freaking hard. What the heck? Click on the picture below that shows a profile. Oh, isn't a profile just like a side view of your face? So this one, the last one, the fourth picture, yeah. I'm pretty sure because it's like, show your side profile and it's always the side of the face. So yes, I'm pretty sure it's this one. It's the fourth one. <laughs> oh, I got it correct. A profile is a view from the side. Yes, I knew it. I knew it. Okay, at least I got two correct, right? <laughs> if I got this wrong, I'll be so sad. Which color below is a shade of this purple? Um, I don't know. What? They all look different though. Or like a shade, also it could be darker or lighter. Oh, it might be the first one. It's not the second one, it's not the third one, it's... Maybe it's the fourth one because it looks kind of similar but just a bit darker. Like a shade darker. And it's obviously not the fifth one because that looks way too grey. It might be the first one or the fourth one. <laughs> Which one? I don't know. Okay, you know what, I'm just gonna count to ten and pick the tenth one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, it's the fourth one. Let's see. <laughs> oh, we got it correct. To make a shade of any color, take the color and mix it with black. Oh, so it goes darker. Interesting, interesting. I've never ever learned this in primary school before. I've never ever learned this. Wow, this is honestly pretty hard. Third grade test, hard. <laughs> Which pair of colors is complementary? Oh, I know this. That's like opposite colors. Like they're on the opposite of the color wheel. Uh, but I forgot the color wheel. Uh, can I Google this? Are we allowed to Google? <laughs> because I feel like if I Google this, I'll know straight away. But you know what? Let's just not cheat. Let's not cheat. Cheating is no good. Not green and green. Obviously not green and green. Not orange and yellow because they're like close to each other as well. It might be yellow and purple because I feel like they're probably opposite. No, maybe red and blue. Maybe yellow and purple. I honestly don't remember. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure it's not green and green and it's not yellow and orange because they're like pretty close colors, you know? So it might be red and blue or yellow and purple. You know what? I'll just choose yellow and purple because I feel like yellow and blue, they're like primary colors. So let's just go with yellow and purple. <laughs> I don't know. I honestly have no reasons. I'm just guessing, okay? I'm just guessing. Because hey, this is like multiple choice. At least you have 25% of getting it correct, you know. <laughs> okay. Oh, I got it correct. Complementary colors. Oh, they gave us a color wheel. Okay, purple and yellow. Yes, I knew it. It's opposite. Which arrow is pointing to the negative space? What is negative space? I mean, 
All of the arrows are pointing to the people and there's one arrow pointing to nowhere. Oh, it's pointing to negative space. Look at it. The arrow is pointing to the word negative space. <laughs> maybe that's it. Maybe that's a hint. <gasps> maybe, maybe it's a trick question. Yep, we're going with this arrow. This arrow it is. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's actually correct. What the heck? The negative space is the space surrounding the subject of a work of art. Oh, right. It wasn't a trick question. <laughs> I mean, I just chose it because it was actually pointing to negative space, the word negative space. But hey, we still got it correct, so I guess I'm pretty lucky. Lucky me. <laughs> Which of these is not an artistic element? Form, value, texture, color, shape, composition. Form, yes, I feel like value, I don't know, like the cost? Texture, yes. Color, yes. Shape, yes. Composition, mm, so like what it's made of? Or like where it's positioned? Value and composition. I mean, you know what? I feel like value and meaning is very, very important in art. So I'm just going to choose composition. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, I'm going to correct again. I'm honestly just guessing most of these, you know. <laughs> and I'm actually getting it correct. Oh, so that means I only got one wrong. No, oh, thank God. <laughs> well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Tell me in the comments down below how many you got correct. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.